How you doing, everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Now, this is a little weekly catch-up. Uh, not a lot to show you. Uh, been busy doing some uh, emergency chainsaw repairs uh, for my neighbor. He's getting some of his uh, dead trees. He's got a lot of dead trees, and he's got somebody helping him uh, cut things up and getting stumps cut off and things like that, clean up over there. And uh, they needed... Need a little work on their chainsaws, so uh, bring them to Randy. <laughs> so that's okay. Uh, it's not that I'm complaining. Uh, I enjoy helping Jack. He's 96 years old, but he still gets out there and runs a chainsaw. Unbelievable. I only hope I get to do that when I'm 96. If I make it to 96. So anyway. Uh, so yeah, so I've done a few chainsaw chain sharpening and uh, cleanups and little tune-ups and things like that for him to keep them cutting over there. So uh, I have uh, did a Craigslist find, got a, something on Craigslist, little item, and I've been working on the closing lathe. So I'm going to show you not, not too much, so much video, uh, just some, some shots of things on the closing lathe that we've been working on. And... Uh, to give you get you up to date a little bit on that I'm kind of dragging my feet a little bit on the closing uh, I have a piece of equipment coming that I want to use uh, to make the control panel uh, for the closing uh, the that's going to hold the VFD uh, start stop switches and uh, the uh, pot for the variable speed control and I might be putting a tachometer in there I don't know if the TAC uh, and the high frequency interference uh, from the VFD, if it will affect the TAC, uh, it might. So I might do some tests before I uh, do that. But anyway, so we're, uh, I'll show, I'm going to show you some uh, still photographs of what I did with the, the uh, forward reverse control switch for the lathe. And uh, so you can see... Uh, I, it's just some uh, photographs of it. It's taking it apart a little bit and putting it back together again. I cleaned up all the contacts in it and reconfigured how the contacts uh, work. There's uh, two different kinds of cams in that switch. And I just wanted to use, actually, I'm only going to use one or two contacts, one, one cam uh, in the switch for a forward reverse signal to the VFD. And uh, that uh, that will work out real nice. Uh, so we can we don't there's bugs in here, so we don't have to uh, put on an extra switch. We can use the actual same control handle and the that mechanism that is on the lathe. So we're not going to change any of the controls so much on the lathe. All you're going to have to do is is hit the power button. A magnetic contactor will close. Power up to VFD, and then you'll have the same forward reverse handle and the same uh, engagement handle, uh, turn on and off handle, you might want to call it, uh, for the lathe. Uh, so, uh, so you're not changing any of that stuff. Um, uh, and there'll be a pot though on the panel for speed control. And you'll be able to read, see the readout also on the VFD. It's gonna, it's gonna come out good. Uh, I'll show you some of that. So, alrighty. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and uh, thanks for all the new subscribers. We're getting closer and closer to past 4,800, so we're getting closer and closer to 5,000, which is really cool. And uh, I do appreciate everybody watching. Thanks a lot. Bye. This is going to be the control panel and the control box, and here's the here's what's going inside. But there, this is the panel going to look like. The VFD will go there, and the the tack start stop and a speed pot will be down there. Things will be labeled also. That'll go on top of there. This was an old hydraulic reservoir. 
for a portable hydraulic pump. So the VFD will sit over there in the corner, the contact will down in there, and a terminal strip with a couple fuses on it will be down inside. And there will be a fan. I'm going to put an extra fan in. There's a fan in the VFD, but it's a closed box, so I'm going to cut a hole and mount a fan on the one side and another hole for uh, air inlet. And, of course, wire uh, glands will have to go in. So we'll, the fan will be mounted inside, but it will be on the side of, on that side of the box. Should come out good. There's a start-stop buttons we'll have. And uh, if I need another terminal strip, I have another one there. And there will be the speed control pot. And we need to make a knob for that. I don't have a knob right now. Uh, that's the basic layout, what's going to happen. So this is my Craigslist find. Uh, it was a local find. It's a Minotoyo hub micrometer. It reads in thousands. And it's... Part number 147-354. It has a ratchet there on the end, the ratchet stop. It has carbide tips on each end. And uh, for 20 bucks, I could not turn that down. They're quite a bit more expensive, brand new. And this one's in uh, fairly decent shape. It's uh, no rust or anything. It's uh, pretty good. And uh, pretty happy with that. It works smooth. I did do a recalibrate on it uh, with some gauge blocks, uh, and, a, and I checked it with also with a standard, a uh, three-inch standard, and uh, yes, and a three-inch standard, right? And then I checked it with a four-inch gauge blocks for four inches. So. But I'm trying to show you something here, uh, bore, but meh. there we go. This is a my comparator stand, and you, there's a, a bore there. If you wanted to measure that thickness. From that surface there to the top, you could reach in, of course, with the right size, and uh, you'd be able to measure that. Or a bore of a pulley or gear or anything like that. Kind of a different kind of tool. And uh, they come in different sizes, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can look for some more uh, smaller ones the, below the, the 3 to 4 one here. It'd be kind of fun to have a little set of those. So, good finds on Craigslist. So we're in closing. This is the forward reverse handle that runs a shaft through to the drum switch in the back. We'll swing around here. There's the control handle for engagement, which I think I need to. I'll be putting a switch on it. it I think I need to replace the one that's there. So there's the drum switch mounted on the back side, and we'll be using just those two contact the contacts right there, the two and four and the one position. This is going to work out good. Some mail just came from San Juan Capistrano, California. Let's uh, take a look. I dropped everything.
That looks broken. This is from a viewer, contact me. And he's wondering if I could make him one of these. It's for his table saw. And I told him I could do that. And he uh, even sent return postage for me. A little, a uh, little letter explaining, uh, explaining the part. So that was from a fellow named Ben, and uh, he sent me some uh, tea. I think there he uh, has some specialty products. This is from Ben Langdon. Let me uh, open this up. He's telling me about some special food products. Oh, this is the this is the handle that the part uh, I think attaches to. So uh, I would say it probably goes in there. Uh, this is uh, for a fence and locking mechanism, actually. Mine is very similar. Um, I'm gonna have to look at that. But anyway, let's see here. This is uh, some uh, some tea. Well, actually, I'm a tea drinker and a coffee drinker. My wife's a tea drinker. Mighty Leaf organic teas. Uh, thank you, Ben. Uh, we'll be uh, giving those a try. Uh, going to be doing a little backpacking here real real soon. Uh, we could even take those with us. So uh, mighty leaf teas. Now I don't know if you, do you I don't know if you sell these, Ben. Do you sell these? Anyway, uh, we will definitely give those a try. So this is the handle. This is the part. These uh, flip back and forth in there. I, I've seen these. I, I mine might like I said mine might be very similar. I'll have to look at it. Uh, I have a Delta Unifence on my saw, and uh, I seem to remember that mine is very similar to this. So, uh, yeah, that's a well, that's a pretty good little fracture. Eh? I don't know why it was hardened uh, so hard the way that fractured. Rather, rather brittle. Pretty cheap, but. Uh, yeah, that'll be uh, pretty easy. Uh, we'll make you one up the, there, Ben. It's a pretty pretty simple little uh, deal, really. Uh, we'll do a little angle measurements on there and make a little drawing and uh, make it up for you. And then we'll roll pin. So that, uh, I don't know what the R means, but he did the triangle mark the way it goes. But it only goes together one way. And uh, that goes in there. That's for the locking of it, and that this kind of wedges in there. No problem, Ben. Uh, we'll get that done and get that back to you for your table saw. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you, Ben, uh, for the tea, too. Thank you.